I'm Lisa Mangili, the Executive Director at the History of Diving Museum. We're located in the beautiful Florida Keys at mile marker 83 in Isla Morada. Come and visit seven days a week. We're open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., pet friendly, and we look forward to having you explore 4,000 years of the quest to explore under the sea. It's a great location, family friendly. We get multi-generations, come in with the grandkids. We've got a mobile scavenger hunt that's really easy to do on your phone, as well as a well-stocked museum store for all the kind of unique items for ocean lovers and the divers in your life. So you and your buddy come on in. We say don't drive by, dive in. We look forward to seeing you at the History of Diving Museum. The exhibits begin with the timeline of early diving history. You'll learn about ancient divers and free divers, and you'll have to be sure to see how long you can hold your breath in our free diving exhibit. One of my favorite aspects of our collection is our series of Miller Dunn Dive and Hood helmets. These helmets were invented in Florida, in Miami, and the first one was patented in 1916. And these helmets are really special because they were the first time that divers who weren't associated with the military or doing commercial work had access to the ocean in this way. And because of their invention and the various processes they went to to improve the dive and hood helmet, we had fields like sport diving or recreational diving, uh, underwater photography and marine biology com come into the scene in an entirely new way. Two divers that use the Miller Dunn helmet were Art McKee, who dove in a Type 3 helmet in his treasure diving pursuits here in the Florida Keys, and William Beebe, who used the style too, and was a marine biologist. He was the first to really study marine animals in their natural habitat. And here in the museum, you can see a recreation of his lab, which you can peek into these portholes to see. One of the most iconic diving helmets is the Mark V, and it is one of the most stunning helmets to look upon in our exhibits. We also have helmets made by every country that ever made one in the World War II era, a very important time for hard hat helmet diving, especially because it was right before the advent of scuba. Self-contained underwater breathing apparatuses, what we commonly know as scuba, are very popular here and most people are familiar with them to some extent, but they really didn't come on the scene until the 1950s in the United States, a little bit earlier in Europe where they were invented. It starts with rebreathers in the 1930s that really be evolved before and during World War II. And regulators, on the other hand, most commonly associated with Jacques Cousteau and Emily Gagnon, came a little bit later and didn't become popular in the US until the 1950s. But from there, once we had easier access to underwater, we had all kinds of films being made, most famously Creature from the Black Lagoon, as well as TV shows like Sea Hunt featuring Lloyd Bridges. Our final exhibit includes one atmosphere diving suits that allow divers to explore the deepest parts of our ocean. This includes the gym suit, which was developed in the 1960s and was used by explorer and scientist Sylvia Earle to make the deepest untethered dive to 1,250 feet underwater in 1979. So be sure to come and check out these suits and far more. And remember, don't drive by, dive in.